In this video, I'm going to walk through uh, restoring Active Directory from a Windows Server backup. And I'm going to show you two restore options, a full server restore and uh, a system state restore. So a full server restore allows you to restore the entire system um, to a different machine or different hardware. So for example, I've got this server up here. If it totally crashed, um, I couldn't even boot it. I just blue screened all the time. I could take this back up and restore it to a brand new virtual machine or physical machine. Uh, with a system state restore, um, you're limited to, it's best to restore it to the same system. Uh, it does not work very well if you try to restore it to a different, different virtual machine or different hardware. So first I'll start with the, uh, the full restore. And to do this, it requires um, a full server backup, and I'm using Windows Server Backup here. And it also requires a, a dedicated uh, disk to, to back it up to. Um, that way you can detach that disk and attach it to uh, another server. So I'm going to pretend this server here, this is my domain controller. It's got a dedicated backup disk to it, and you can see I've got a bunch of successful successful full backups here. So. Um, like I said, I'm going to pretend the server's just crashed. I can't boot it up. It's got a virus or ransomware on it. So it's it's dead. I'm just going to shut it down. And I'm going to use my backup and restore it to a brand new server. So this will work with, I'm using Hyper-V. This will work with any hypervisor, VMware, or whatever, or with a uh, physical machine too. So I'm just going to create... A new virtual machine. I'm going to call it DC Restore. And then you're gonna you're gonna Create it just like you're going to create a brand new virtual machine. I'm going to boot it up off um, an ISO. It really doesn't matter which server version you're going to use. You just need to boot up, be able to boot into the Windows installation so you can click uh, the repair option. It's not going to install this operating system. Um, again, it's just going to boot off the ISO and then we're going to restore it from the backup. So the virtual machine is created, but now, now I need to go back to my uh, original server and remove my backup disk because I want to attach this backup disk to the new server I'm creating. So I'm just going to remove it from this server, and then I'm going to come attach it to this one. And these steps will be a little different depending on what hypervisor you're using. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to walk through every little detail here on the VM settings because this is going to be different depending on what you use. So I'm just selecting that that dedicated backup disk, attaching it to this new server. That way this new server can see the, the backups. So the server's <clears throat> created. I got the ISO attached to it, the backup disk. Now I will start this VM up and it'll boot up off the disk. Or the ISO. I'll click next and you don't want to click install now you want to click on repair your computer. And then we're going to click on troubleshoot and we're going to do system image recovery and it's going to go scan the disks and it's, it's found my backup disk and it's found um, all the backups on that disk. And I'll just use the, the latest backup image, but you know you can you can click select system image and, and browse through your uh, list of backups, but I'll just go with uh, the most recent and I'll click next and it's going to format. It's just letting you know letting me know it's going to format the disks. So this is a pretty quick process. Now it's going to go um, create this uh, new server based off my latest uh, backup. 
and it just depends on how big your how, how big your backup is but mine's basically just the operating system and active directory running on it so it's pretty small so this is a pretty quick restore process okay restore is complete so i'll restart and i don't want to boot off the disk now because we've already restored it so now we just want it to boot regularly Okay, the server is booted up. I will log in. Okay, I'm logged in. I've got Active Directory up and I see no errors, so everything looks good. So like I said, uh, the full system restore uh, is my preferred way to back up Active Directory and restore it. It is very fast, and um, as, as you just um, watched, I was able to restore this to a completely new VM, so I didn't have to worry about repairing the operating system. Um, if the backup's good, I can restore it to wherever I want. So that was the full recovery. Now let me uh, go back to the original server, and we'll repair just that server. So. My, my original domain controller um, will do a system state restore and what that does is it will repair um, the existing the server it will repair active directory um, any critical server files that's corrupt it will repair that so um, you can use this one for when you know the server boots you don't seem to have any major problems with the operating system you can boot in uh, you can boot it up um, and we can repair it that way. So I've got my backup disk attached back to the original uh, domain controller. Uh, and when you turn it on, you wanna start pressing F8 so we can get into uh, the advanced boot mode. So as soon as I start this, I'm gonna press F8. like I missed it so I'm gonna have to pause this and reboot okay here's the advanced boot options and you want to select directory service repair mode and again this is for the system restate system state recovery option this is for repairing the same the same machine. We're not creating a new machine, we're repairing the, um, the existing server. So what this does is boots the computer up into safe mode, which now lets you log into the computer locally. So I'm logging in locally instead of the domain because the domain is unavailable. This completely loads. I'll, op I'll open Windows Server Backup Utility. Okay. Now I'm going to click on Recover, and I'm going to select this server, and here's where you can select uh, which backup, from whatever backups you have available, and then I want to select System State, and then you need to consider if you want to perform an authoritative restore, and what this means is it's going to whatever's recovered on this server it's going to replicate that out to all to the other domain controllers so if you've got multiple sites with multiple domain controllers and you don't want this this one to replicate out then you may not want to do an authoritative restore uh, but in this example i've only got this one site and i'm pretending both 
both domain controllers are down, so I'm just going to make this one uh, the authoritative uh, restore. So select that checkbox if needed and click next. And it's just giving you a, the warning that it's going to replicate this content out to the uh, other domain controllers. And I will select the automatically reboot when it's complete. And I will click recover. It's going to give me another warning. Uh, this process takes a while. It's it's a lot longer than the full recovery. Um, and it'll, it'll give you a progress here. I think it took about 10 minutes when it eventually gave me an estimate time. But I'll let this run and I'll pause it. And then when it's completed, I will come back to the video. Okay, restore is complete. I will log in. So after the uh, system state restore, it'll reboot and it'll pop up with the uh, command line tool letting you know the system state recovery operation started and completed. Um, it says that it has errors, element not found. I don't know what that means. Um, we'll just press enter and see what happens. So Active Directory opens, seems to be fine. Um, so yep, that is that is how you restore Active Directory. I showed you two options, the full recovery, which allows you to recover to a different server, and then the system state backup, which recovers, um, is best used to recover on the same machine. Um, so this was a video on how to recover Active Directory. I've got written instructions on it and I've also got a guide on step-by-step uh, -step instructions for how to backup Active Directory. So I'll put those in the description. Um, and it's very important to test your backups. Um, you wanna do that at least once a year, probably more. Um, you, sh you should be able to do that in a test environment so it doesn't affect your production environment. Um, but you wanna make sure you test those you don't want to end up in a situation where um, your domain controllers are are broke they got a virus ransomware whatever they've they've just they're dead and they're not working you can't recover them um, so you don't want to go through a restore process up and, and find out that your backups are, are corrupt or not working for whatever reason so make sure you test them uh, check out the articles and thanks for watching